Hello everyone, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today I'm going to make some cards with scraps. So when I get card stock that, or papers, when I've used them, I put them into little folders like this. This particular one is Christmas papers. Then I have one for red, one for blues, greens, etc. And I was looking at my scraps for my Christmas paper and I thought there's got to be a way I can use these. So I've got a couple of cards in mind that I'm going to use up some scraps with. So let me show you what we're going to do. So the first one, I've got this hole punch, or this little round punch, and I have cut out lots of little round um, circles. So I just line, the beauty of this is you can line it up and cut where you want. And there it is. So I have cut up heaps of those and I've got them all in a little pile over here. Let me just tilt the camera <laughs> so you can see there. I've got lots of them already cut out and ready to go. So the first card we're going to do will be on this. So I had lots of um, this mirror foil card as scraps. So I've cut some strips and I've got this card here so this one's obviously going to go on there but to start off with I'm going to put these around here now we often do mats and layers on our cards and when we're doing the mats because the center is covered you don't always need a whole piece so I had these strips in my um, scrap bag so rather than using a whole piece, I'm just going to use the scraps. So I've just popped some double-sided adhesive on the back. And I'm going to line them up like so. So that they're nice and square. And then I'll put this one on here. I'm just trying to line them up so hopefully when I've finished I'll have a nice square shape and I'll just pull that off and put this one on this end now you can do this to whatever size you like I think the one I'm doing here would be five inches square when I'm finished I'll check that in a minute Okay, so we'll just pull off the backing tape from these. And we're going to stick that onto the base card. And that will be my matte layer instead of using a whole card. So we'll try and line it up so it's in there evenly. And then we'll decorate this piece and that will then sit over there so like I said if you don't want to use a whole card or sometimes um, if you're die cutting it just die cut from your whole piece and then you're left with this piece so that you can use that for something else and then you can still do this so you'll have some little oh I guess where they join but I don't really think that will matter too much and that's going to be stuck on there when it's all finished so we'll just put this aside so with this particular one I want to do I guess like a wreath out of circles so I've got one of my masks here with a circle on it just so we can get a nice even shape so I'm just going to draw a line in there and that'll just give me a circle to work on so let's see what are we using here art glitter glue so now I'm just going to pick my circles and just randomly I don't know maybe I'll just do a round like so and I'm just picking out any pieces randomly let's see um, put that one there so at the moment all I'm doing is I'm just laying them out 
to see how they will fit. I'll bring them in a little bit more and that should, that should be okay. So now I'm going to pop some glue on the back of them and we'll start putting them into place. Now, if you don't have a hole punch or a um, circle punch, you can use a cutting die if you've got dies, or you can cut them out manually as well. Just having the punch makes it a little bit quicker and easier. I'll just stick all these down. So while I'm doing this, I'll just let you know that I do have a couple of Facebook groups. One is called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. The other is called Barossa Valley Crafts. I will add the links in the description below. If you'd like to join, you're more than welcome. Come and share your crafty creations with like-minded people and help out others with questions. Okay, and that one there. So now I might add a second round. We'll see how that looks before I stick them down. Oh, might not need it. Um, This is not going to hurt. I'll just keep going around. It's amazing how you can build up a large quantity of scrap paper. And I found I was wasting so much because I would be grabbing a whole piece of card to start something new. Um, actually, with this layer... I'm going to get some foam dots and we'll add a bit of dimension to it. So we'll just stick some foam dots on there so that it's a little bit dimensional rather than all flat. Okay, I'll try and do this as quick as I can. So basically what you're seeing is in real time. Uh, I do not edit my tutorials, so if I make a mistake, you can laugh along with me and watch how I might fix it up if I can. <laughs> okay. I'd sing for you, but I'm not a good singer. Nearly there. I guess everyone's starting to prepare for Christmas with everything being in the shops now. So it's not far away. Okay. There we go. So then I'm just going to use... Which way we... I think we'll have the top that way. So just using a ruler... going to draw a bit of a line there, colour it in a bit, and do a bit of a bow. Alrighty, so now we will attach that to there. You might use double-sided tape. You'll find when you're using um, foil card or mirror card, as some people call it, um, don't use the uh, glue on it. Because it is a non-porous card, when it dries, quite often whatever is stuck to it can um, just pop off. So it's best to use double-sided adhesive with mirror card. Okay. And one more. All righty. Here, we'll just 
just make sure we've got the card opening the right way. And then from here, you can just add any greetings that you like. Just try and line it up. Okay, just pull the rest of these off. And there's the first card done. If I can get them off. There we go. And there's that done. So from there you can decorate it more if you want to. So when it's a bit later I'll probably add some bling or something to it. but And then put a Merry Christmas on there. So there's the first card done. So very easy. So let's now go for the second one. So with the second one, rather than a card, I'm going to do a tag. So if you're making your own um, gift tags, these would be great to do your gift tags for your gifts. Now this particular one is four inches by two inches now if you're working in millimeters and centimeters that would be say four uh, no, try again we'll go this side about 10 centimeters by six centimeters then what I've done is I've just using my pencil which I have now misplaced here it is so I've just marked so that it's got a centerpiece here and then I've gone one inch down and put a little mark on either side and then we can just trim that away so there's your tag and then I've got a hole punch here so we'll pop a hole in there and then we'll get a selection of the little um, circle cutouts. Uh, there we go, you just place them where you want them, so about there will do. Just pop some glue on the back. So you can make them so that they're like little Christmas baubles. And actually, we can probably pop another one on there. Um, what other one? How about a snowflake? Yeah, we'll pop another one on there. Okay, I'll just put the lid on my glue. And then again, using a ruler and a black pen, we can do the little lines to hold the decorations up. And again, you can add a little bow. If you wanted to, instead of doing this, you could add ribbon these are just something quick and easy and then on the back you can put your to and from so there's another way you can use up especially like if you've got scrappy bits like this you could just make them to the size that you like so there's two done now for the third one I've done a bit of this preparing before we started so what I've done is I have again cut out using the circle punch the little things like that then I went through my dies to find one that was just a tiny bit bigger to attach the little cutouts to so I'm going to attach this to there so I've just got some double sided adhesive on the back already and we'll just pop that onto that other circle so that you've got 
some of the mirror card visible behind it. Hopefully you can see that. Now I'm going to attach this. So again, uh, this particular one I'm doing here, the base card is four and three quarter inches square, or if you're working in centimeters, that 12 centimeters square. But you can do this to suit whatever size you like. You might be able to, or you might want to do more than what I'm just doing on this one. So we'll pop some glue on the back of this. And even though I'm de doing this in Christmas papers, you can do them in anything. It doesn't have to be Christmas cards. It can be any scrap card papers that you've got. There we go. So then I'm just going to put these on here. So I've done nine. So we'll just sit them on here to start with and then I'll arrange where I want them. So I want them to be fairly evenly spaced. But hey, it's handmade, so it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, I think that'll do. So now I will attach those to the base card. Actually, did I? Oh no, I thought I'd um, put double sided adhesive on it, but I haven't. I'll rotate that one so it's the right way. Oh, I have. I've put double sided tape on the backs of some of them. There you go. Makes it a bit easier if you can. Oh no, I haven't done it to all of them. I've only done it to some. That's all good. Must have. Well, that's because I've used a scrap piece of mirror card. Obviously, I've used double-sided adhesive on some of it at some stage. So some of them have got adhesive on them, and some of them don't. Oh, yep, that one has. That one hasn't. This one has, I think, it's very smooth. Yep. There we go. There's another one done. So how's that? Very quick, very easy. Actually, I've got a card blank here. Let's see how we're getting. I mean, if you wanted to, you could make a Christmas tree. Look at that. Look, you're only limited by your imagination. You can build it up and do whatever you like. Let's see what we got here. Gold star. Let's remove some of these so that they're not too much the same. All right, let's stick these. Oh, yeah, let's stick these down. Don't know about the purple background, but I just happen to have it there. So let's play. Put down little circles all over the place here and we'll get a tree shape by the end of it, hopefully. So again, it's just, you're only limited by your imagination. Just have a play around. Quite often, a lot of really good um, outcomes are come by accident. Okay. Um, get another one. What do we got here? 
here's one with trees on it. And then uh, a stalk. What can we use for a stalk? Is it? Here we go. That'll be the tree trunk. There we go. And there's another one. Again, you can decorate it more if you like. Just using up what you've got in your stash. Rather than going out and buying special equipment and stuff to make cards, there you go. So there's one, two, three, four. There we go. I hopefully you've enjoyed that. And if you have, please do give me the thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do. And thank you for joining me. And hopefully we'll catch you in my group. Bye.